Hey friends, welcome to the part 7. We are looking at real certification questions. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. You will stay tuned to AWS, GCP, Azure and Snowflake certification content. You also have an opportunity to click the join button, become a member. A lot of important questions will be posted there. Let's jump into the questions. See, when I see this in a nutshell, it is an activity question. We need to track activity for API call. The only service which does that is CloudTrail, the user activity and API usage. That means anything to do with trusted advisor, which is a consultant service to reduce cost, improve performance and improve security will not work here because it will not log the activity. CloudWatch logging will also not help because it will help you track the metrics of the resources like EC2 instances and so on because it is meant to monitor your resources and applications on AWS on premises as well. Now we have options B and C to choose from. Option B is telling that they will set up an individual trail for each region and B or and option C is saying they will create a new trail, apply the trail to all regions. For me, option C is better than option B because option B is talking about individual trails for each region and then they are sending it to S3 buckets. So for example, they will have individual trails for each region and then you have a bucket here s3 bucket and this is where from each region they will send it option c whereas see anyways you this api call activity can be across different regions because we are talking about current and future regions so it can be across different regions will b work b can work but we want to identify a simplest way if we are saying what is the simplest way option c is the simplest way it is going to uh, address this requirement of centralized location okay through this this is addressing that requirement and c is addressing the simplest way requirement and hence option c is the right answer now let us jump into this question see they had a classic load balancer now you all know classic is very old nobody uses classic so they all went to alb now so this blue box is alb now when people are trying to connect from their own devices, they are not able to connect to this ALB systems. Why? They are not able to connect to the website. Obviously the website, before the website, ALB is configured because the website is somewhere here and ALB comes in between. So this is the flow. This is how end user will reach the website. This is the website. Okay. The first one says there is an old web browser. Hence, this is a problem. If the browser is old, it will not give you connectivity issues. It will tell you the compatibility or something of that sort but it will not be that you will not be able to connect itself so a is wrong let's look at option b the option b is talking about perfect forward secrecy settings see this is a sec uh, setting we use for encryption and decryption if you see this documentation you can read this portion carefully this is linked to encryption we do not have an encryption requirement in the questions the question is not talking about anything about encryption that's why this is wrong Third is they are talking about intermediate certificate. Whenever we talk about certificate, one thing comes to my mind is the TLS protocol that is encryption in transit. This question is not an encryption question. They are not mentioning if encryption is even into play or not. So how can we say that this is the problem or root cause? So we are just left with one option that is cipher suits. Now what does cipher suit do? See cipher suit is also linked with encryption that is TLS protocol. If you're talking about protected communication, then the choice of cipher suits matters a lot. The cipher suit, it is a complete set of method and it is used to secure a network connection through SSL. So we are not talking about only encryption, it is about securing a network connection. So the first thing that comes to my mind is this network connection itself is not being able to establish, right? That is why you are not able to connect to the website. Let us first solve that problem. If that problem gets resolved, then we can look at other stuff like perfect forward secrecy and so on. So that is why D is my final answer. So this is something which we should lock. See, this is a question when we are looking to protect from the common web exploit. If I see uh, the options, I have AWS Shield and AWS WAF. Which one is correct? AWS Shield helps with DDoS protection and WAF helps with common exploits. So this is what our question is looking for. So we have established anything to do with WAF is correct and anything to do with shield is wrong. So I have striked out the shield options. These two are wrong. Now both options C and D, they are making use of WAF, which is correct. Now what else? So let us look at the other portion of the question. You have to restrict the access to EC2 instance to specific whitelisted URLs. 
all outgoing traffic that means you have these ec2 instances all outgoing traffic from these ec3 instances should be to specific whitelisted urls only option c tells you to make use of flow logs see if you look at flow log the feature is helping you to enable to capture information about ip traffic so whatever traffic that is in inbound and outbound it will capture information about it it will not help you to route that traffic to certain set of whitelisted ips that's why i see a fitment issue because it is not routing the traffic you need to route it you know you need to send all outgoing traffic from ec2 instances restricted to white listed urls only here from this ec2 it should go to white listed urls these are white listed urls this is not something which option c can address because it is talking about flow logs logs are just what is happening with your network what are the activities it will just log the activities lambda will process it but it will not be able to restrict it so that's why this is wrong according to me so this leaves us with one option this is the one for the second part aws marketplace will have softwares which will help you with the, uh, in this regard you can choose the third party tool here some of them are free and majority of them are not free so this would be my final answer so friends, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber and stay tuned to most of the latest cloud certification content, AWS, Azure, GCP, Snowflake and so on. Please click the join button, become a member, a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. This will help you gain access to a lot more important question sets. Thank you for your time. See you in the next part.